Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to NIPS home school hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty allah this is kamran nahar assistant teacher of english national ideal english version school day sheet my dear students of class 10 today i am going to take your english first paper and this one is the first class of 2022 so all of you will follow your YouTube class and you will do your homework which is given through your YouTube class. So dear students, let's start our class today. And our today's topic is lesson 1 and 2 from unit 9. So lesson 1 and 2 from unit 9. And this is lecture 1 and we, you will be given homework number 1 also at the end of the class. So dear students, today we will do lesson 1 and lesson 2. That means page number 122. All of you can take your English for today book. And the name of this unit is unconventional jobs. That means the jobs which are not conventional, which are a little bit uh, odd or which are a little bit weird. Today we will know about those jobs. Okay, let's start with lesson 1. Lesson 1, jobs that people do. Yeah, uh, many of us think that we must have a steady big job to be happy in life. Is that always true? Look at the picture and discuss in pairs what you see in it. So there is the picture. So we will discuss uh, about this picture in our live class. Now B, read the text. It is about a young entrepreneur, Syed Kamal. Notice what he thinks about job and happiness. Then answer the questions that follow. So dear students, we will read the passage which is given in uh, section B. Uh, I mean, uh, this passage is about a young entrepreneur, Syed Kamal, and uh, uh, he choose to do a uh, choose to do an uh, odd job. So we will read about him. I know you will wonder if I say the best thing that ever happened to me was when I left my last job. Yes, really. So could you imagine uh, this young man, Syed Kamal, left his job. Nowadays, uh, getting a job is very difficult, but this man left his job. For what? Very interesting, we will know about him. I was a desk clerk in an office, but believe me, I never liked my job. Nothing can be more boring than being stuck in an office all day with computers and telephone. So, in his job, he was not happy. I mean, uh, he felt boring. I mean, uh, it was quite difficult for him to stuck in an, uh, I mean, in our room uh, for the whole day and uh, doing work with the computers and telephone. So after two years or so, I decided to leave my job, though I had a good salary. Now I'm the owner of a nursery, planting seeds, budding, grafting, taking care of saplings, cleaning the flower beds, and sap uh, spending time with trees are different parts of my full-time job. So now, Syed Kamal left his job, and now he uh, he is the owner of a nursery. So this one is totally an unconventional job. He left his job and uh, I mean uh, where he had a very good salary but now he was I mean he is the owner of a nursery and now he plants seeds uh, and taking care of his saplings and he spent uh, most of his time with the trees that means he liked this I mean he likes this job. I started work very early in summer I usually leave home at 5 30 in the morning but in winter not until about 7. I have a small hut in my nursery. There cannot be any more pleasure for me than when I see the moon from there or walk through the trees in the soft moonlit night. The, uh, the winter is just over, so I'm cleaning up the winter flower garden. Now I'm busy producing more timber and medicinal plants which people will buy from July. So now look, the owner uh, has a small hut in his nursery and he felt I mean, uh, he, uh, I mean, uh, happy when he uh, see the uh, moon from his hut or when he walked through the trees uh, in the moonlit night. Now, it was quite amazing to him. And uh, now the winter is almost over, I mean, going to be over, and now he 
is cleaning up the winter flower garden because uh, he is uh, busy producing the medicinal plants and uh, they these medicinal plants have a very big demand and he will uh, sell this to the people uh, from july so every season is so different i love them all when i compare my present days with the past i simply can't understand how i could survive in my previous job i love nature i just love working outside in the open air after all those months in a stuffy office gadgets never attract me and perhaps never will now Syed kamal thought about his past jobs i mean uh, uh, when he thought about his past job he became surprised or he became i mean uh, he wondered how could he passed uh, two i mean uh, two years almost right uh, in his previous job because he loved nature and now he is quite happy gadgets or the uh, <coughs> or phones or computers never attract attract him i'm not married i do my own work even cook my own food i try not to depend on others for the work which i myself can do often my friends are annoyed with me they say i should engage a maid for household chores they are not happy to see me in this rustic life they are professionals they earn a lot so now uh, Said kamal was a young entrepreneur and he was not married that's why he had to do all his household chores but his friend sometimes advises or uh, i mean uh, suggested him to uh, engage a maid for household chores but uh, but uh, he was quite happy to do his own works okay and that's why he didn't appoint a household uh, but his uh, that's why uh, his uh, friends are quite i mean uh, iri- i mean uh, quite uh, irritated i mean or annoyed with him to see his life because they are very much professional his friends and family members are very much professional and they earn a lot of money now we will go to next page maybe much more than what i do but i think i enjoy my work more so his friends uh, i mean earn more money than him but he enjoy his own work this is important to said kamal at weekends i often go to the countryside sometimes with my friends sometimes alone i love collecting unknown saplings i have another hobby i love collecting stamps i have a russian stamp from the period of lenin i don't watch tv so now this uh, this is his hobby to collecting saplings unknown saplings and he also collect stamp this is his another hobby and he don't watch tv the only problem i face is i do not earn enough money in all seasons the winter and the monsoon are two busy seasons for me but it's okay maybe i do not earn enough like many other people around me but i at least earn enough for my family employees and myself to run a decent life i must say i am very happy i am a very happy man so this is the important person that means sayed kamal is happy though sayed kamal uh, doesn't earn more money than his friends i mean enough uh, money to uh, live a very luxurious life but he is quite happy with his uh, profession and uh, he can support his family or his employees and himself from this nursery so he choose a profession which is quite different from others now there's the questions and this question answer will be your homework Number 1 what is the best thing that ever happened to this man number 2 why didn't kamal like his last job number 3 what are the advantages and disadvantages of his present job number 4 when does he earn most money number 5 what attitude of kamal is reflected in the lines maybe i do not earn much like many other people around me but i at least earn enough for my family employees and me to run a decent life so these five question answers will be your homework now we will go to next lesson that is page number 125 we are jobs around now look at this picture those people are doing we are jobs now we will read the text what type of job do you want to have is it a highly paid and high profile conventional job most people like yes you can have it it is matter of your choice and an important decision that would help you advance in your life 
But have you ever thought of other types of jobs out there? Cool, fun, exciting, even strange or weird jobs you ever knew existed? What are they? Did you ever wonder who picks up the chewing gum left on a park bench or who assesses whether a piece of furniture is comfortable enough or who co constructs glass eyeballs or who farms wasters in the middle of the ocean? These are all or unexpected, wild, unconventional, strange or just plain weird jobs and careers. They are not your traditional career choices, but somebody out there does all these things, get paid for it and enjoys life like anybody else. So there are uh, some people around the world who do unconventional jobs like this. So you will try to find out the other unconventional jobs and you will tell it to me in your live class. There are hundreds of such jobs to take if you want to travel the less taken ways of life. You have to decide on several questions. So if you want to uh, choose uh, different types of jobs, you need to ask those questions to you. And what are they? Uh, page number 127. What companies will recruit or hire me? Do I actually get a pay check? What type of education or diploma will I need? Can I make a living doing this? So these are the questions, very important questions to choose a profession. Your answers to these questions will help draw your career roadmap and help you decide if you are ready to take the change. Sorry, take the challenge. Decide if you want a change. A lot of Eastern jobs also allow you to work part-time or towards a freelancer when it fits your schedule. This way you can get a taste of freedom, a secondary income and gain experience at the same time. So if you choose an unconventional job or if you uh, choose a Eastern job, which allow you to uh, work as a part-time or as a freelancer which I mean uh, fit your schedules uh, you can get uh, freedom or a secondary income that means the, the uh, part-time income and gain experience at the same time do you have interest beyond writing mem uh, memos and attending boarding meetings if so you may wonder how you can find a strange job Hobbies are a good place to start. What do you do for fun? Do you stop animals, act like Charlie Chaplin or most model cars or make model cars? There are people out there working in fields making money of their hobbies. Maybe they are testing mountaineering equipment, developing fragrances or saving sea turtles and they are getting paid good wages too. So these are all odd jobs and they are also paid good wages for their unconventional or weird or odd jobs. So dear students, lesson one and two is about unconventional jobs. So all of you will go through lesson one and two and you will do your homework. This is homework number one you, uh, from uh, unit nine lesson one you will do the question answer as your homework. So this is your homework number one. All of you will do your homework regularly and submit it on every Saturday on the school library. So that's all for today. Uh, all of you will do your homework. So dear students, see you again. Allah Hafiz.